I work in the day, I work in C Sharp in Unity, and the number one feature in Odin that I miss every day since I started doing things in Odin is their is Odin's unions and how you can work with unions. So I want to show that a bit. The player struct has a state. Here is player state, it says colon colon union. And so these are all the different states. Now you may be like, oh, but that just looks like an enum or something. Like, no, these are actually type names. And then you'll be like, okay, but isn't that just like a union in C or something? Yeah, but wait a bit. So you have this player state union and it contains like all oh, the normal state. You know, see some of these are empty because I used to use them as sort of like enums, but some of them have state in them and that's really important. So for example, the uh, hang state, which is the funny state when the cat jumps and grabs, it knows where the grab position is, which is the little this one of these positions, that one, and then it knows if the transition has played. Even if you had a union in C, you would still need an enum to, to know which state you are currently in. But you don't need that here because update player, the interesting stuff is here. Here it, so P is the, this, this P variable is the player and it switches on the state of the player. Remember, this is a union. If you write switch S in p.state, then you can, in the cases here, you can actually use type names in the union to know which one your current, which one this uh, state union currently has as value. So in the normal state, it does all this. And, oh yeah, it was the player state hang I wanted to show actually. So it's this one. So this one plays a little transition, extra transition animation at the start. So in this one, S here is the is the, the S variable. You see, switch S in people dot state. What this is is the current state uh, union value of the correct type. So it's actually S S here in this case inside this case will be of type play, player state hang which is, has the grab position and transition played. So you get those things. So you get the enum stuff plus the union stuff in one go. And that tiny detail, I think, makes it really nice to do this kind of state machines where you know which state you're currently in and you know all the ways to get out of it. So in this case, if the transition is played, so we can ignore this, let's say the transition has played, then the only, thing, the, two, the only two things that can happen is either I press basic bar and then I go into the hang climb state, which is this one. Or if I press the down key, then it says the state player state wall slide, uh, which slides down. It shows better on this wall, it's longer. And like state machines are not a new thing, but the moment I have to have an enum plus a union, it gets a bit tiring, like for each state, at least this extra thing. And then I can like be like, ah, you skip the state machine. And then I get this super messy code and then eventually I have to make the state machine, but it's not as nice. So this just makes it easier to get into each time. So it's quite nice. So the union stuff with the switch on the union type and getting the union current union variable is a super feature. And I think it's very good for video games uh, because you have lots of these little funny state machines.